are you today? I'm real good. Yeah. What have you been up to today? Today, well, I was sending off bits of my book, Too Much to Tell, to a, um, I can't say the name, to the publisher um, for possible publication um, this year. Um, yeah. So uh, I was picking out sections to give them a variety of a New York boy and his beginnings, and then working through some Hollywood, and then um, uh, some Dempsey Makepeace, and you know, and the English life. Exciting stuff. Um, can you give us a hint about what it's about? I know you can't give away too much, but like a little tiny hint. What, what my book's about? Well, it's over 50 years in the business, and I've worked with almost everybody, or I've been friends, or dated, you know, amazing people. And these stories are quite amazing. I mean, I never thought about people that, you know, you should, but I, I couldn't. I, I couldn't, I didn't want to do a kiss and tell. It was more about an experience. I mean, working with Robert Mitchum, um, you know, my life with Kim Novak, working with Tony Curt, all the icons of, of Hollywood, you know. Um, a friendship with Al Pacino, Bob Streisand, De Niro. I work with all of them. So it, it's like there are stories to tell. And they're not like what you would imagine. They're kind of unique. And um, uh, yeah, and I feel how well they've kind of weave together. Who's been the most fun person to work with out of just people that you have worked with in the past? Most fun person? <laughs> wow, that's like, well, Gene Wilder, he was, I mean, I was in hysterics. Charlie Durning, I don't know if you remember Charlie Durning. Um, if you saw his face, he was like, big guy in a lot of movies. I, I worked with him three times. I used to hide behind his back. I would be crying, laughing so hard, I, I couldn't get in front of the camera. One time we knocked on the door, it was so serious, the scene. You know, it was about saving somebody's life and getting the blood for, you know, bone marrow. And couldn't be more serious, but we were laughing so hard. He's a, he was a master of limerick. And we knock on the door, and Colleen Dewhurst is his wife, who was George C. Scott's real wife, opens the door, and we just burst out and fell down on the floor laughing. She tried to carry on with the scene, but she eventually fell on top of us. And, you know, I mean, so who else? I mean, God, there were so many funny people. Robert Mitchum, he was a hoot. He, you couldn't... You know, you'd be doing something serious and he'd be like making faces at you, but he, his wit and his, his delivery was so funny. Yeah, he could really knock me out. Thank you. Dare I ask, who was the most difficult person to work with? The most difficult? <laughs> well, got to read the book. You got to read the book. It took me 50 years, but I've forgiven her. <laughs> I'm so excited to read it. Thank you so much. Um, could you tell us a little bit more about your character before I let you go? <laughs> about who? About your character. In this movie? Yes. Well, it's more of a surprise, I think. Um, you know, he shows up kind of at the time when you think you know it all. But then, you know, yeah, it, yeah, it was... Um, yeah, kind of fun that way. And you know, I can't, you can't, if you haven't seen it, you don't know how it's put together. So um, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I mean, I just have a small part, but it was fun. And they were wonderful people. And I got to work with the, almost the entire cast in that. So it was great. Well, thank you so much. Thank I'm you. really excited to read your book and I hope it gets published soon. <laughs> Too much to tell. I can't wait, you know. So sometime this year. I don't have a, a date yet. But, I'll keep an eye on it. You know, <laughs> and I've got great personal photographs that go inside. I haven't done that yet, but the book's oven ready. So, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.